previously on Revelations Persona. <laughs> I, this is my challenge. Somebody is supposed to draw Adachi in this outfit. Now, the thrilling conclusion. God damn it, it didn't even look like a Chester and Persona one. <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey, what, hey what's what? with Barbatos? I don't know. It's, at least these are short now. They're getting shorter. Yeah, they're getting shorter. I have questions. Me too. <laughs> How do you get from Hell to Hera? Hell is actually even a Nordic mythological yeah. character, but like they couldn't spell that right, so maybe their maybe their white supremacy is slipping. between hmm, Heru. What could Heru be? It could be Hell, which even sounds like Hell, which is related to death. But no, it has to be Hera. I I thought they knew their Nordic mythology, but apparently not. They just knew they just knew Odin and, and Thor. Thor, because everyone knows those. I mean, and Inferno. I mean, I get what they were going for, but what is it really supposed to be? Does it even have anything to do with an Inferno? No. 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 Oh, it's literally just the Grim Reaper. They couldn't write Reaper, so they wrote no. Inferno. What the f How? How do you fail writing Reaper? Just write Grim if you really want to. I don't care, but like Inferno though. It has nothing to do with an Inferno. Uh, unless you're Dante, I guess. Uh, temperance. Let's oh, see no. if they tempered their stupidity here. Oh. <laughs> they did not! Oh. They did not! Hey! You know what my favorite Egyptian god is? Tell me. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't even! You know Genbu? Yes. <laughs> Why don't... This is like Maguka, and it's like... <laughs> Genbu! <laughs> Get become deets now! <laughs> <laughs> but hey, let me try again. My uh -huh. favorite Egyptian deity is Anubis. <laughs> Anubis. <laughs> and literally would have taken one book, one book to catch this mistake. Here we go, what do we have here? Well, <laughs> well, at oh, least they oh, got Loki. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> at least they got Loki. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Nanny, Nanny. Okay, yes, <laughs> yes. The Belzebub. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you? Why don't you kiss my Belzebub? <laughs> Get this can't be real. This has to be a typo. Somebody just hit oh, the no, wrong no, key. Oh no, no, actually, sorry, it's not. Belzebub, it's a best lay bomb. <laughs> Diesel bomb. <laughs> but hey, Lucifer is still Lucifer. I'm so glad they can spell Lucifer. Unlike Imagine Diesel bomb. <laughs> freaking Im Diesel bomb over here. <laughs> <laughs> we are moving on to the tower, Kana. The falling tower. The falling tower. Oh, oh, you know the Tower of ba Babel? Yeah. Where, where everyone couldn't understand each other? Yes. I feel like this is an appropriation of that. <laughs> so, here we have... I guess for in the context of these no, games, no, it's... No, 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 no. no. <laughs> but look, look, he causes a massacre! No. No. <laughs> Zero out of ten. <laughs> I'm glad it's six six. I, I I mean that at least that makes sense. Also, I don't understand this. Like what? Sha. Sha. It's a, it's actually a thing. What is it? What, um, what? It's top, definitely not Amatsumika Boshi though. No, it's not. Absolutely not. Uh. No, never mind, I got nothing. The Star Arcana! Oh god, it's my favorite Arcana, what did they do to it? 
Uh, not too much. <laughs> <laughs> Although they who... unnecessarily changed the name. I don't know what. If, what is a Sumi? Why would they change Janus to Sumi? People kind of know what a Janus is. People don't know what the hell a Sumi is. I don't understand. It's like they've this tried to write the name backwards but gave up halfway. So, Munakana. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Uh-huh. Hey, uh -huh. you know what you call the daughters of Lilith? <sighs> Tell me. Remy. Yeah. Remy. <laughs> hey. Yes. They can spell succubus, but they can't spell Belzebub. <laughs> this says a lot about these translators, or, I or think. Or Anubis. <laughs> Anubis. <laughs> Sanakana. I need the sun. No! <laughs> no! 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 Why? No! Hey, I found Ben's heart. Uh. It's inside of Bennu. Well, it's it's a bird. It has something to do with wind. I guess. No. <laughs> I refuted this reality. And substitute and hey. my own. No. And, no. And hey. No. No. <laughs> I want. I don't want to, mommy. You have to go I don't want. No, mommy. I don't want to go. I don't want to. <laughs> you have no. to go no. Of no. 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 And hey. None of this is real. <laughs> None of this. Spelling Phoenix with with an I is is overrated. We spell it with a with a Y. With a big fat Y. At least they knew what a Garuda was. <laughs> Did they know? <laughs> well, out of five birds, they gave one the right name and identified one species correctly. <laughs> no. The Yatagarasu is a crow. It's just an unusual crow, but it's a crow. How fucking dare you? <laughs> Of course they knew how to spell Nike! Uh, I... And somebody on the team had watched the Smurfs, apparently, because they also knew how to spell Azrael. No, they didn't. Why? Azrael, not Azrael. <laughs> hey! He's as real as you can no, get! No, fuck you! <laughs> and I will refrain on the Undertale jokes here, because... No, please go be ahead, honest. please go ahead, please take my mind off this. <laughs> okay! I was like, Satan is too edgy, this guy, Dark Angel. If we just say Michael, nobody m would know which Michael. We name him Satan. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> we're Christians. <laughs> and we're Christians. Uh, yeah. And because we're Christians, Felic is now a halo. J just the halo. Thanks, Microsoft. I mean, I'll give them this one because this is a character renaming because this isn't actually a god but a character in the game who uh, became someone's persona due to strong associations. Alfred. Yeah, he's a butler, so I, I give them some points for cleverness in this, in this regard. I don't. I mean, if you were really woke, you would have named him... Chavez. No. <laughs> you know what disgusts me? What? They thought our mighty is almighty. <laughs> is he though? Oh, it's a she. She's associated with the earth and in the capacity she's the goddess of fertility and the dad. That does sound sort of almighty? Kind of? Maybe? Zero of ten. Abracadabra! Right? It's not even cab dab right, it's cab. Abra cab, it's, it's like the taxi that an abra takes when its teleport ability is out of PP. Thank god we're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> this is the highlight here. Yeah, so. let's save it for last. <laughs> so, Hive. Hive. Quetzal Kotal, is Quetzal I, I don't speak the Mayan and Incan language, the Aztec, oh, the Aztec languages. 
Uh, I don't know how he's pronounced, but Quetzal. this doesn't look like Quetzal a this Quetzal. doesn't look like a hive. It's uh, not a you, hive. You bet, but it's, it's not it's a, a hive. It's a flying snake. There's there's your viper. <laughs> the great Leviathan. Great Leviathan. Let's see his true identity because Yu-Gi-Oh never told us. It's it's another viper-like thing. Another snake. Okay, I can kind of get this one because no, it's sort. <laughs> you don't want me to give them. No, any you can explain, but I I'm not giving them anything. <laughs> and we have I don't know what a borax is. A mistake of naming. Or oh, Zuma for that sh for that. It's a game. Matter. Inazuma Eleven. No, I, I there's actually a game called Zuma. I where, did not where, know that. Uh, it's like you play as a uh, an Aztec looking uh, figure who spits colored balls that need to chain it with other colored balls. Uh, Wikipedia tells me that Zuma is a South African politician that used to be the president of South Africa. I'm sorry, Jacob Zuma. Thank you for your service. Okay, let's 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 address the uh, big dragon in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so say it, you. If you spell it a certain way, literally means holy dragon, but that ain't a chief. This ain't a chief. No, what? At what point in the process did, did, did so seem like... So to all like... our religious friends out there, please welcome your new saint, Saint Dragon. Saint Dragon. <laughs> this is what this is what Kaiba really wanted to name the Academy. Absolutely. But big brother, we can't just name it Saint Dragon Academy. Why not? People might think you would learn how to fly on dragons. Damn it, you're right. That's only research for me. <laughs> okay, fine. It's Tool Academy. <laughs> but Obelisk Blue still gets to be the best one. <laughs> okay, I think with this, we are through. Unless there's one more thing we can do. Uh, we can look at the uh, other translation decisions that were made. Quote, decisions, unquote. I'll say it now because I didn't say it the whole video, but I usually don't use Mega 10 Wiki because they're usually full of uh, a lot of misinformation. However, this is one of the games that they tend to have most mostly right stuff on because it's so old. So, in case anything here was not actually like this in the translation and it's just the wiki fucking up, then I'm very sorry to the translators, but it was still very hilarious. It was. It was. <laughs> that said, let's read out what the wiki has to say on the localization. Mm -hmm. Revelation's persona was heavily changed when it was localized for a North American release. You don't say. All characters were renamed and several of them had their appearance altered as well. Nearly all references to Japan or Japanese culture were cut. Thanks for kids. With the unusual exceptions being shoe lockers and Shinto shrines on the game. Many personas were renamed over and rather than translated. <laughs> and the town's name was changed to Luna Whale. Because of course it was. Yen was changed to dollars, and the overall difficulty of the game was reduced by lowering the enemy encounter rates and increasing the experience gained. And that's actually a good thing. No, because, however, while experience gain was increased to an amount proportional to the decreased random battle rate, money drops were left the same, resulting in a potential shortage of cash. Okay, fucked up. In addition to these changes, the Snow Queen quest, which is, if I may remind you, half of the game, was removed by only allowing the players to commit to the Sebek chapter. Why? Because the data is still present in the game disc and it is possible to forcibly activate the quest by making use of cheating codes, but the quest is untranslated and the game's engine cannot render Japanese characters, which shows, which show as strange symbols. Wow. So basically they were too lazy to translate half of the game. So they just cut it off. Uh, either too lazy or they just didn't get funding for it. Which, which as we have noticed, the uh, funding for the translation wasn't very big. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, they couldn't even afford a book on Egyptian mythology. The title, Revelations, is taken from the Christian Bible. No, 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 no. Let me stress. This was the first title 
of the flagship <laughs> Revelation series. <laughs> it was meant to be a flagship series. It, it didn't last long. No. No, it didn't. <laughs> The title, Revelations, is taken from the Christian Bible's book of Revelations of the New Testament. It is the final book and its authority and relevance to Christianity are in common dispute. However, many modern fundamentalist Christian sects place great importance upon the portrayal of the end of days, blah blah blah. It's possible Atlas USA overlooked the significance of such a title when choosing it. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the demographics to which this title would appeal would not be interested in Sh Megami Tensei games and vice versa. Perhaps Atlas USA only struggled to find a natural substitute for the admittedly cryptic title of Megami Ibun Roku. Uh, can you give some uh, context for what Megami Ibun Roku is? Well, it, it's kind of, it isn't that easy to translate, but uh, basically it means like a goddess's different um, records. It's, it's a, a goddess's different chronicles. It's, it's basically Megami's side story. While the front of the game's case claimed it to be a first in a series, only one more Atlas USA production would bear, bear this title. Revelations, the Demon Slayer. Shin Megami Tensei Gaiden Last Bible. Again with the Bible references. I, I think we've covered the beauty of Megami Bundoku Persona in English. No, we haven't because the most important thing we have not yet seen. Oh my god. Which is here. Oh the beauty boy. of race lifting. Because Japanese people don't exist. It's no. all Americans down here. It's all Americans down here! And look, I I would love to have a black Persona user. Absolutely. If he was actually black. If it wasn't freaking tokenistic as hell. Yep. But hey, at least he danced crazy. Because that's what black people do. I guess. And let's not forget the beauty. The absolute wonder that is. Eriko Kirishima. Also known as Ellie. Also <laughs> portrayed like this. Oh my fuck, okay. Because American people can't have red hair. That is creepy as hell. Death to all gingers. What's even more, like the main character, the protagonist. Uh huh. Uh, he's known as Boy with Ewing because he has an Ewing. Yeah. Look at what they did. He gets red hair, yeah. but no earring! Piercing is bad to teach children. Children are not supposed to be playing this game! We have to teach them about the Bible. And about <laughs> best slip bum. <laughs> and Anubis and Gemp. Gemp is okay. my favorite. I, I think I think that's do that does it. This will do, Dunky. This will do. Oh, what happened? Well then. Triple. Any closing words on the beauty that is Revelations Persona? <coughs> okay, okay, let me let me take a sip. Okay. Oh. Atlas, Sega, who currently have Atlas in their um, in their company. <laughs> Thank you for improving, first of all. <laughs> and to all the people who were disgusted with the Persona 5 translation, uh this is how it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> A huge thank you to my patrons Ryan Ellison, Ariana Stray, Kulo1303, Silly Fudge Monkeys, Christian Finkbeiner, McNugget, Machikurada, Lee Set, and an extra huge thank you to my top patrons Eliukon, Dupin9, and Ellipsion. These amazing people are what makes it possible for me to make stuff like this even while job hunting. If you all like my content and want to help out, you can leave a like and comment on this video, or if you're feeling super generous, support me on Patreon or Ko-fi for one-time donations. If you want, you can follow me on all sorts of social media or join my Discord channel to talk to a whole bunch of cool people. And again, a huge thanks to Triple for co-hosting this one with me. Well then, see ya!